first goal of the match. Leaves it to Ramsey. Can they get P now?
Dynamic Herb Cebu FC starting the game from right to left wearing all white. Stallion Laguna FC defending from uh, left to right wearing pink and black their traditional colors. So it's going to be interesting how these two sides will pan out again. A great introduction into this final day of the Copa. Yeah, Jamie, right away, I think we see uh, this dynamic Herb Shabu with a different formation than we're used to seeing them. It looks like they uh, appear to be in a 4-3-3 as opposed to their traditional 4-1-4-1. So um, already there's some differences in, in the side, so we should see maybe different patterns of play, different possession, uh, different types of possession, and also different attacks and defense. Would you say that the 4-3-3 formation for Dynamic Herb Cebu will be more of an attacking formation for them in this game? I think so, yeah. I mean, you know, you don't play with three up front without an attacking uh, mindset. And um, it's clear... Oh, we got some action here early on here. Abu Si <laughs> squared it. Almost got somebody out there in pink, but clearance is there for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Almost a mistake there from... Korsame forcing it through the corner flag. Dispossessed. Belgira and clears it out. Stallion still putting on the pressure. Pickering intercepted now by Baristasi. Mert Altino is for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Sends that over to the other side. Looking for Genko. Genko now with the ball. Gadia playing that vital role in midfield once again for Dynamic Herb Cebu. He is going to be the pivot man for them for sure. Tassi. Now here's Chima Uzoka over the left side. Looking for options, looking for his teammates. Still with the ball, Uzoka. Now into the middle for Gadia. Saldivar giving the option over the right side, but it goes out for a throw in. Playing it from the back, Alquiroz. Intercepted by Uzoka, but was able to get that to one of his teammates. James with the clearance. Poisson could not hold on to the ball, so it's going to be a throw in for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Okuda now with the possession for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Altinoz regains possession for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Wasn't able to find Genko over the right side. Foul against Dynamic Herb Cebu and Jean Ren Saldivar. That foul was on Delgado. As we take a look at the replay, Delgado goes down off of a late tackle from Salvador. Uh, Sal, excuse me, Saldivar. Clear foul for Stallions around midfield here. Gadia clears it out only as far as Alquiroz, Mert Altinoz to help out for a dynamic curb Cebu FC. Forward pass looking for Genko. Genko could not keep it alive. Throw in for Stallion Laguna FC. Tasi cleared towards Zambrano. We got a little bit of rain coming down here at the moment now, Jamer. It's going to play into factor for both teams as well. It's going to be slippery out there, uh, Nate. Yeah, it's clear what both uh, intentions are for, for both sides. You know, they're both looking to attack early. And uh, it, it's looking as both teams want to uh, press early as well. Leaving an uh, entertaining match for all the fans, I believe, here, Jamer. Great ball from Delgado. Just too much for Abusi to chase. 
giving Zambrano the chance to pluck that out of the thin air. Yeah, Zambrano making, uh, I believe, his debut for the tournament. You know, uh, this is a third place match, but it still holds some value, still holds some weight, so, you know. The young goalkeeper is got his night uh, in front of him for sure. It's going to be a long night if you're going to be facing a fierce and aggressive Stalin Laguna FC side as we were able to see a foul there from Koichi Belgira. Quick free kick for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Intercepted Abu C against two players in white. Play goes on, the ball goes out for throw in in favor of Stallion Laguna FC. Tasi could not keep it in play. Throw in once again for Stallion Laguna FC. Belgira, Okuda, getting difficult for Dynamic Herb Cebu to clear out the pressure coming from Stallion Laguna FC. Delgado with a strike, Zambrano with a lovely save. First real test coming from the boys in pink. Delgado once again, Saldivar with the clearance. Delgado on his favorite left foot. It's a great turn. He opens up his body and you see what he's trying to do. Just sneak it into the back post, curling it in, but it ends up being a great, great save from Zambrano. It's going to be a test for Saldivar over that left side as Delgado with a new hairdo. He dyed his hair blue in this game. Looking to make an impact, and oh, here he goes again. Pass. Delgado chipping it over. Oh, just goes over the bar and over the goalkeeper. Alcaros with great vision finds Delgado perfectly. He'll wish he could get that one back, Delgado, but great, great start from the Stalin's Laguna side. As we see, he's trying to just lob it over Sombrano. The idea is bright, the idea is good. Maybe the technique could have been adjusted, but. Nonetheless, it's a great start for uh, Stallings and Delgado as he's already gotten two chances in the last two minutes here, Jamer. Stallion Laguna showing their intention to retain the third place in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Throw in for Cebu or the far right side. Saldivar, here's Gadia, now to Okuda, Karsame playing a little bit deep than expected, forward pass too strong once again for Abu C, not to the liking of coach Mehmet Kakil of Dynamic Herb Cebu FC as they're letting out a pocket of space there for Abu C. Okuda sends that ball forward looking for Tasi. James alert to the possibility and keeps that in his grasp. Tuason to Delgado. Gadia dispossessed Delgado. Chance now for Dynamic Herb Cebu to reset and reorganize their defense and offense. Okuda. Baristasi could not keep it in their possession. Abu C intercepts. Ibanez. Bolden with a clearance. Abu C chasing the ball. Going against Okuda. Ball goes out. Throw in once again for Stallion Laguna FC. C to Delgado. 
To the middle now for Alquiroz. Great pass What again. a pass to Tuason. Altinos covering well, and making sure that Tuason could not fire a strike inside the box. Nathan Alcaros with two fantastic passes in the in the past sequence here. You know, he's he's playing a different role as we see he's kind of in a deeper midfield role as opposed to maybe a defensive side, but he's got that great left foot that he can play fantastic passes through and um, Banyes, another great through ball from Stallion Laguna FC. Abu C. Pickering giving the support, but she could not find his teammate right on time, and it's out for a throw in. First 10 minutes of the match, Nate. Stalin Laguna have plenty of chances already, and they've had a couple of key passes as well in this first 10 minutes. Yeah, the, the speed of play, uh, Jamer, is, is quite high already in this first 10 minutes. Um, it's great to see, it's very competitive, and uh, the intensity is very, very competitive as well so um starting this first half really really excellent for for the fans and for both sides actually as you can see it, the ball doesn't really stop moving much it, it's constantly rolling the speed of play is high Co forcing players to constantly move and think at a higher level so this is really good stuff here jamer well we prayed for a frantic first 10 minutes of the match and we got it already out here nate pickering heads that to james now a time to reset for Stallion Laguna FC. Corsame. Here's Ibanez for Stallion. Abu C not hold on to it. Koichi Belgira with a lovely pass. Alkiros with the ball. Alkiros takes a strike from distance. Using his favorite left foot, but just went over the bar. Yeah, that's a, a threatening run from Nathan as he had space in front of him. Uh, he tried to get it back over to his left foot so he can uh, have a nice strike from distance, but gets on just gets under the ball and sails it over the over the bar. But it's a good start for Nathan Alcaraz as we've well, seen him get involved in the attack early. Um, seems to be making a difference already. Gadia, Korsame. Referee Mick John Pineda said the ball already went out, so there's no foul and throw in for Stallion Laguna FC. Gadia head to two, Korsame. Again, Korsame playing a deeper role right now for Dynamic Curve Cebu. We're used to seeing him up front, but now he's being forced to defend for uh, Dynamic Curve Cebu out here. Yeah, nowadays, Jamer, you know, you got to be versatile in your in your ability on the field, whether, you know, you're, you're called to attack or called to defend it. You know, you got to be versatile and be able to adapt really into any situation. This is what we call a, a complete player here, Jamer. Free kick for Stallion Laguna FC. They've had plenty of chances already over the first 10 minutes of the match. They got another one out here. They have plenty of options. You have Pickering, you have Bolden, you have Abu C waiting for that uh, cross from this free kick. The delivery, great one. Abu C headed it in, but just couldn't get it past the defense. Ibanez takes a strike from distance and blocked by Daniel Gadia. Uzoka intercepts the ball. Dynamic Herb Cebu trying to string a couple of passes of their own and get into attacking position. Bari Stasi just misjudging that pass from Karsami and now a throw in for Stallion. Let's take a look at this free kick again. Yeah, it's, it's a gr great ball in, just kind of lofted in for Abusi to time his run. Uh, he gets ahead onto it, but it's well defended by Dynamic Herb nonetheless. But, you know, we're seeing more and more attacks from Stallions. Uh, it's a great start from them. You know, it's clear that they want to get ahead early. 
They want to get a hold of that ball as much as possible. And right now, uh, Jamer Dynamic Herb Shabu is kind of having a difficult time adjusting to this relentless pressure of, of Stallions and uh, this attack, this wave of attack um, that Stallions have been doing lately. Ball goes out for a throw in, but as of the moment, Nate, it seems like this battle for third, or should we say battle of the 4 3 threes, as it seems like both Stallion Laguna FC and Dynamic Curves have opted for the same formation of 4 3 3. Stallion is winning it as of the moment, as they've had plenty of chances going their way. Yeah, they've had chance, they've created chances, and uh, as we see, like. Dynamic Herb Shabu hasn't really been able to get out of their half over the past five, ten minutes as of lately, as we get a good shot of Coach Ernie Nieris. Uh, I, although his side hasn't been able to put the ball in the net, you know, uh, they're starting off well and, and they're, they're starting off on the right foot here. Great look at Coach Ernie Nieris there. I'm bothered over the first 15 minutes of this game. Genko. Giving the option over the right side, cleared away by Bolden. Look at the possession, Nate 63 for Dynamic Herb Zibu, but it's not playing into their advantage. Yeah, that's right. Um, as I said always, uh, it's about what you're doing with that possession. And um, although they may be dominating the amount of time on the ball, it's not converting into chances or creative plays in the attack. As maybe they're, ha they're having a little bit of a adjustment with this new formation. So uh, and at the moment, Stylings have the upper hand, even though they might not be dominating in possession. If we take a look at the shot stats or the shots on goal, it's surely in favor of Stylings Laguna. And it's um, going to be interesting to see which side is going to get this first goal. Another great pass from Delgado. Abu C using his body. First goal for Stallion Laguna FC. Who better scores for them other than Abu C? Yeah, that's a well-deserved goal for this Stylings Laguna side. We've been talking about it over the past few minutes and sequences. Um, it was a great creative little pass from Delgado. And Abu C uses his body extremely well, holding off the defenders. And um, as we see here, fighting off Okuri, that's a strong battle there. And he gets it to his weaker right foot, but he's able to do what he needs to do and just slot it past the goalkeeper Zambrano. And now we have a 1-0 early lead for the Stallings Laguna side. Again, they're only having 37% of the possession, but look, they're early leading 1-0. So again, it's always about what you're doing with that possession, right? Are you, are you creating opportunities? Are you even dangerous with that possession? So paying off the Stallings Laguna side, I think Abu Si. Pressure has been thwarted now here, Nate. But if you're going to take a look about Stallion Laguna FC, they've been playing really well yes. off the ball. They, yeah. Their formation is good and it paid dividends for them. Okuda might have closed the angle there for Abu C, but effectively he closed the angle for Zambrano as well to cover that, that yeah. shot. Yeah, he did well defending, forcing him wide. And we all know that Abusi can dominate and score beautiful goals with his left foot, but it's great to see the striker score with his weaker foot because it shows how deadly they can be on the left or right side. And, you know, a goal scorer like Abusi, you know, his ability to score with the head, the left or the right foot, it's vital when you're playing in the attack, uh, especially in a game like this where you, you might not have the opportunity to shoot with your left. And all you have to do is strike it with your right foot. He did extremely well. To, to slot it past Zambrano there, Jamer. It's not a difficult finish by, by all means. It's not a difficult finish. I'm sorry, sorry, not an easy finish. Sinkir presented with an opportunity for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Genko takes some time. Here's Seldivar to Gadia. Cleared away by Stallion. Twasun. Now they send the ball forward. Ozkan heads it to Saldivar. I'm just checking right now, Nate, but if I'm not mistaken, that's Abu C's third goal in the tournament. Yeah, he's always the danger man for Stallion. Um, 
very lethal and deadly in the front, causing a lot of problems uh, for defensives. Um, he not only you know gets himself into good scoring op scoring positions, but he works extremely hard defensively. As we take a good look at coach, head coach Mehmet Kakil. Question now for coach Mehmet Kakil is how you're gonna shuffle the cards against Stallion Laguna FC, knowing that they have a one nil lead and uh, they are having a great game out here so far for Stallion Laguna FC. Yeah, it. Um... Abu C, sorry to cut you off on that one, Nate. A great pass from Abu C. Ibanez just couldn't make that materialize for Stallion Laguna FC, and it's out for a goal kick. Taking a look at the key passes so far, three for Stallion Laguna, but one of them made its way into the goal. Right. It looks. I could be wrong, but it looks like the dynamic Herb Cebu has already adjusted their formation back to their original uh, I could actually I, I could be wrong there but you know they definitely have to do something um, in terms of uh, some type of an adjustment Sinkier not getting the support that he is requiring up front as of the moment for Cebu Genko Uzoka slipped and it's out for a throw in De Mesa to Belgira. Still Stallion on the offensive. Karsami could not clear the ball. Abu C foul against Abu C. Yeah, that's great. That's great work from the goal scorer as I was just talking about his defensive efforts, you know. Um he works extremely, extremely hard to win the ball back and make it difficult for the defenders. As we take a look at the replay, his, he times it just a bit off and uh, Kosame gets to it first. But, you know, his we always talk about his attack, his ability to attack and his ability to score goals. But we also have to credit how hard he works defensively, which is also equally as important for a striker. James not tested as of the moment by Dynamic Herb Cebu. Alkiros clear that out. Now Cebu with a chance for a counter attack. Gadia to Altinoz. Nice little turn from Altinoz to create some space in front of him. Altinoz to Tassi. Tassi looking for Genko over the right side, gets it in. But James is alert for the possibility and holds on to the ball. It's a great idea with the one-time cross there. But again, not knowing they're making that first run post as we always talk about there, Jamer. Missing that key figure, missing that player, that first post for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Things are going pretty well for them despite conceding that goal from Abu C. Lovely turn there from Abu C. Strong challenge there. Zambrano gets to the ball this time. Ibanez, lovely ball from the right side. Just couldn't find Delgado right on time there. Okuda. Seems like the rain has stopped right now, Nate. Yeah, we have great conditions at the moment. Uh, just a little sprinkles but you know still very very playable um, just a bit humid at the moment but the, the grass is wet excuse me the turf is wet so causing the speed of play a bit more higher and quicker and faster causing and forcing the players to react and think and play quicker so there's great conditions at the moment Jamer as we take a look at that long ball intention for Abu C but as he's just overzealous with his uh, defensive efforts and causes a foul there on Okuda. Used too much of his body um, against Okuda. So Dynamic Herb Cebu still alive here. We know Dynamic Herb Cebu has a knack of crawling their way back into the game. They've been in this situation before. 
they surely know what to do to get past this uh, this test against Stallion. Genko playing more of a central role right now for Dynamic Curb Cebu. Takes it back to Korsame. Uzoka back to Korsame. Great interception by Ibanez. Counter attack time. Nope, says Genko, and they get the ball back. Gadja to Genko. Baristasi still with the ball. Could not take a strike. Great coverage there from Bolden. And now Stallion regains possession. Ibanez, long ball forward looking for Abu C. And an interception from Cebu. Stallion's doing a really good job picking up the second and third balls defensively. Making it extremely difficult for Dynamic Herb Cebu to even just get a clear shot off. Baristasi now with the ball. Kicked away by Ibanez for a throw in. Korsame, still with Korsame, takes a strike, finds Sinkir instead, but that was cleared only as far as John Ren Saldivar having a hard time keeping the ball in their possession, and now they do. Gadia Kuda switches the play to Korsame. Genko. Gives it to Saldivar. Oskan saying there's an option up front. Now a foul against Stallion in a free kick for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Twasen with just a nudge there. Yeah, just coming a bit late there and um, good call for a late foul there. Free kick and a chance for Dynamic Herb Cebu. You have Sinkir, you have Okuda, you have Oskan, and even Uzoka waiting for this delivery from Mert Altinoz. It's going to be an outswinger. Mert even has the capabilities of going direct from here. Here's the delivery. Okuda! That's a great ball and a well-timed header from Okuda. Stalin's very, very fortunate not to give up a goal there or at least a, a contested shot. But as we see the cross, it's, it's drifted to the back post. And uh, Okuda times it really, really well. He knows he should have got that one on frame. But um, great attempt there from this dynamic Herb Cebu side. Cebu looking more dangerous now over the last five minutes, showing their intention to get that equalizer before halftime. They have to work really, really hard. Gadia with the interception. Baristasi resetting for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Altinoz. Looks like Altinoz slid into that right winger role and Genko just moved into the middle. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, free-flowing movement from, from uh, Dynamic Herb Cebu as they're just trying to figure out you know, solutions and different ways to break down this tough, tough Stalin Laguna side. Abu C. Great, Great ball. <laughs> Here they go again, Stallion Laguna, Ibanez with a chase into the middle, Zambrano is alert and the ball goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, Yannick just put a little bit too much on that pass, they could have really been in on goal there. Nonetheless, uh, another attempt there, um, another attack there from Stallions. Karsame, here's Uzoka. Genko giving the option. Now a throw in for 
Dynamic Herb Cebu. Coach Aaron Niñera is pushing Brian Ibanez a little bit more forward for them. Meme Kakel with his assistant coach Levant out there. Figuring out what to do in order to get their equalizer in this match against Stallion. Uzoka blocked by Bolden. Shots right now. Nate 5 for Stallion Laguna 4 for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Really showing their attacking prowess out here for Stallion Laguna FC. Gadia looking for Altinoz. Now here's Altinoz. Back to Gadia. They're getting a bit more confident now, Nate. Pushing more bodies up front. Altinoz with the cross. Headed out by Delgado. Genko. Uzoka. Still with Dynamic Herb Cebu. Altino is once again on the ball. 14 minutes before halftime. A strike from Okuda. Two attempts already from Okuda. The second one. A powerful strike. Just went over the bar there, Nate. Yeah, an ambitious uh, effort from Okuda, as we see, has a great first touch, picks his head up, and uh, he's in a good striking range, he's got that strong left foot, if we take a good look here, just uh, over the bar a bit, but good attempt there from Okuda, as he had that header previous, and um, he's eyeing the goal, and trying to get his side, trying to lift his side, try to even up this match here, Jamer. I didn't know it's... Wriggled his way past two players and now a foul is called on Stallion Laguna FC. The mess up feeling the pain after that challenge on Altinoz. Let's go ahead and uh, take this time, Jamer, to congratulate our Philippine women's national team on their SEA Games bronze medal. Third place is a huge feat for, for the team and also for Philippine football. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a major accomplishment and uh, we just want to congratulate all the ladies out there and the coaching staff. Awesome, awesome job. We're all proud of you. Congratulations to the Filipinas. First podium since 1985 SEA Games. What a feat. And this is just, you know, part of their preparation right. for what's ahead of them, which is the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, which is going to be uh, hosted by Australia and New Zealand. So right. it's going to be exciting for them. Yeah, the, these games and competitions are, are vital for their preparations. I know a lot of critics and fans might have been disappointed that they didn't get to the gold medal round. But, you know, again, these are just preparations for, for their World Cup qualifier, or for the World Cup, actually. And uh, these types of matches just kind of elevate their level as they get closer and closer to the World Cup. So awesome, awesome job, ladies. Back to live action. Mert Altinoz with a cross. Header there from Arda Sinkir. Okuda again involved. And now an equalizer from Arda Sinkir. We are level, Nate. Game on. Wow, we got to take a look at that replay because it was fast and ball was going left and right. Awesome, awesome awareness. As we take a look at the replay, it's a great ball here to the back post. Or excuse me, to the near post. Okuda does exceptionally well to keep it in play. And it's Sinkir. Right place, right time to head it for his second header of the competition here, Jamer. I think that was already his third header, Nate. Oh, Two third. goals from on the game against Mendiola, if I'm not mistaken. And then another header here. Arda Chinkir using that head of his. Yeah, well done. Uh, Okuda has to get a lot of credit for keeping it in play. You know, um, he had to slide for that and just kind of dinks it to the back post for Sinkir to attack and 1-1. One, one. Wow, level. This is this is awesome, awesome stuff here, Jamer. And the display there from Okuda, this is how a modern football defender 
needs to play. That's correct. He's a great defender and at the same time he provides the option up front and even provides that assist for Arda Cinquier. So it's game on now here at the PFF National Training Center in this battle for third between Stallion Laguna FC and Dynamic Herb Cebu. Yeah, that's a great point there, Jamer. You know, the modern uh, center back nowadays is also equally as dangerous in attack. And, um, you know, we, we see how strong he is defensively. And we also see how well he can get involved into the attack, whether it's shooting or, or getting a cross off or being in the right place for a header. We may be in for another classic here at the PFF National Training Center, Nate. 1-1 one, one, with 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Again, for those folks watching at home, that's the first half pa lang po tayo, ha? Ah, sa first half pa lang tayo ng laro at ang init na ng laban ng Stallion at ng Dynamic Herb Cebu. Yeah, this, this first half is promising for an epic third place final that we've been uh, lucky enough to call. But nice to see it's level and even even again and just going to have to force both teams to adjust and continue to play. Abu C gets that ball from... Chima Ozoka, chance now for Stallion to mount their own counter-attack. Thwarted there by Mert Atenoz. There's some movement on the bench for Ernie Yeras and Stallion Laguna FC. Interesting substitution here. This is going to be tactical. It, it's not, doesn't look like somebody's injured in their side. So this should be tactical for them. Right. Obviously, uh, Coach Ernie sees something that he doesn't like already. And he's making an adjustment just 36 minutes into this first half. As we saw his side give up a 1-0 lead early on here. Altinoz, another delivery headed away this time by Quichi Belgira. And now the momentum is with Dynamic Herb Cebu. Quickly shifted to the boys in white. Saldivar with the possession sends it inside. Looking for Bari Stasi there. Leaves it for Pafu Korsame. Ibanez, great defensive skill here. Only to get that ball again for Bari Stasi. If this game ends level after 90 minutes, we go straight to the penalty shootout. So no more extra time. Go straight to five kickers right away. Oh, exciting stuff ahead of us here, Jamie. Regardless of what goes on, we got exciting, exciting stuff here. Altinoz, here's Gadia. Did not get past Alkiroz, but they have Okuda. Another cross and a foul against Arda Chinkir there. Substitution now for Stallion Laguna FC. Ma Miguel de Mesa is going to be replaced by Jacob Agustin IV. Or rather, that's Justin Pena. Yeah, Pena, one of our young, promising local talents here, Jamer. more of a like for like change for Stallion looking to uh, provide plenty of body over that left side for them Abu C against Genko gets it over to Belgira Belgira with a strike from distance he could take a shot from there but this time around it goes over Zambrano and the bar Ozkan looking for a sink here. Glancing header. Altinoz alert for James to get that ball away from Cebu. Delgado. Twasson. Forward pass. 
Too much for Abu Si to chase. And that goes to Zambrano. Counter attack time para sa Dynamic Herb Cebu FC. Uzoka. Interception. Bola para sa Dynamic Herb Cebu. Alquiroz. Ibanez. Sinahanap si Abu Si. Okuda. Clearing the lines for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Ball is out for a throw in for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Zambrano resetting for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Saldivar with a forward pass looking for Sinkir. Mistake there from. Oh! Mistake from Matthew Nieras, but Sinkir just couldn't get that on target. Yeah, almost costly there. Sinkir does extremely well to um, make the most out of that very tough angle. But in the end, it's no trouble for James, but. Arda Singir, very vocal up front, asking his midfielders to move a little bit up front just to put on a lot of pressure on the defense of Stallion Laguna FC. Just about three or four minutes remaining in this first half. Altinoas keeps the ball in play, Saldivar. Gadia, here's Akuda, provider of the assist in that first goal for Dynamic Herb Zebu. Arda Sinkir against Matthew Nieras. Yeah, that's well defended. Uh, well defended by Nieras. It looks like Pena is subbed in to be one of the defensive midfielders right now for Stallion Laguna, and Delgado has been pushed to that left back position for them. Long ball for Cebu, headed away by Bolden. Genka could not keep that in their possession. Alquiroz clears the ball. Now some time for Dynamic Herb Cebu to figure out their next attack. Yeah, just a few minutes left here, Jamer. Um, last thing either of these sides want to do is give up a late goal right before halftime. The momentum will definitely switch depending on who's gonna get the goal here in this first half with two minutes remaining Abu C through pass Ibanez he's free against Korsame Ibanez with a cross now get it to one of his teammates we still have the ball here Belgira to Delgado, advantage says the referee. Here's the ball inside, too much for Abu Si to get his head. And now counter attack for Cebu. Baristasi, Cameron Bolden sliding and just keeping that ball away from Baristasi. Yeah, Bolden had to make the play on that one there, Jamer. As uh, Dynamic Herb were looking to counter quickly in that moment. They'll have another go at it with this throw in. Zoka. Great pressure being put on here by Stallion. Alquiroz. Uzoka to Chinkir could not get that through for Altinos. Gadia. Chinkir just couldn't get that down on time, but they still have another possession for a throw in.
or Same to Ozoka. Two minutes added here in this first half. Korsame with a cross. Oh, great turn from Yannick. Oh, and great turn. Great. Could not get that through ball for Abu C. Ojkan. Well and truly placed properly there. <laughs> tense, tense moments here, Jamie, as the half is winding down. As I said, neither side want to give up a goal late into this first half here. Especially in the final minute of the first half in this crucial battle for third between Stallion and Cebu. Bolden. Bolden sends the ball forward looking for Tuason. Header. Oh, that goes wide. And he was called for offside, says the referee. The offside flag came up. Ojkan could be one last attack from Cebu if they want to. Gadia to Ozoka. That's a great little pass from Genko. Genko offside. Tassi called offside. Tassi is caught offside. Great little pass there from Genko to split the defenders. Referee, uh, referee uh, Mick John Pineda might blow his whistle anytime now. So halftime here at the PFF National Training Center. 1-1. Abu C scored first, but Arda Chinkir pulled one back and we are level heading into halftime. Your thoughts on the first half, Nate? Yeah, it's a first half of momentum shifts there, Jamer, as we saw Stylings kind of dominate the, the first part of the half. Going up early, unfortunately not able to hold on to that lead and the momentum shifted quickly after that as uh, Dynamic Herb were on the attack and were able to create a few chances and get that tying goal. And um, towards the latter, ha latter part of the half, it was quite even. So I'm um, going to be interesting to see the coaches make their adjustments and halftime talks and the mindset and approach that they're going to go into this second half. But overall, Jamer, really, really entertaining stuff. We saw some quality goals and some uh, good pieces of football being played there, Jamer. Well, great first 45 minutes here at the PFF National Training Center. The players have entertained us. It's time for our fans here at the PFF National Training Center to entertain us as well as we have Aris Palabrica and Robert Ray Alvior to be joining our halftime contest out here. Uh, they will be facing uh, Stalin Laguna FC's goalkeeper, Ronilo Bayan Jr. and Dynamic Herb Cebu FC's goalkeeper Ace Villanueva in a, I think it's going to be a penalty shootout. Whoever wins gets the uh, jersey of their choice. So we'll leave you with that halftime contest. For now, it's Stalin Laguna FC 1, Dynamic Herb Cebu FC 1. We'll be back after a few minutes.
Lapat mo na. Nice, nice. Nice. Yan nila Discord. Discord kayo. Sumo.
first goal of the match. Lisa Torrance, the make it Pino. Who would have thought they had a clear advantage over Dynamic Herb Cebu, but Arda Tinkir and Dynamic Herb Cebu had other plans and now it's 1-1 for the battle for a third. What a great first 45 minutes we had, Nate, as we have a chance to take a look at the highlights of the first half. Nate, your thoughts on the chances that came the way of both Stallion and uh, Dynamic Herb Cebu. Yeah, Stallion started the half extremely strong in the attack, creating a, multiple opportunities. If we take a look at the goal, great little pass from Delgado and the strength from Abu C to hold off Okuda and finish. Look at the first touch as well, Jamin. Excellent stuff all around. Um, you know, very well deserved goal from the side, but unfortunately, they're not able to hold on to the momentum and the lead as we take a look at the tying goal. From Dynamic Herb Subu, it's a great cross. Sankir is actually the first one to get the header, and Okuda diving to make it and keep it in play, plays it back across goal for a Sankir signature header goal. Turkish delight to tie things up. What a way to tie things up here in the first half as we take a look at the halftime stats. Possession-wise, Dynamic Herb Cebu has been dominating it, but in terms of shots and shots on target, Dynamic Herb Cebu had nine, only two on target. Meanwhile, Stalin Laguna had a better percentage on shots on target. What do you make of the stats out here, Nate? Yeah, you know, um, interesting, interesting stuff as we see the possession strongly with Dynamic Herb Cebu, but the shots and shots on target are quite even. So. You know, very, very telling of how the half went. Um, not many foul. We have even amount of fouls, but zero yellow cards and red cards. So um, I think we're already going to have some adjustments and subs coming on for the second half. But we're really in store for an exciting finish to this third place match here, Jamer. 45 minutes for Stallion Laguna FC to hold on to that third place in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. 45 minutes for Dynamic Herb Cebu to get their noses up front we will have a short break when we come back it's the second half of the battle for third between stallion laguna fc and dynamic herb cebu fc So 45 minutes left, who will take third place? Will it be Stallion or will it be Dynamic Herb Cebu? By the way, congratulations to the winners of our Halftime Penalty Challenge, Aris Palabrica and Robert Ray Avior, who went up against premiered goalkeepers Ronilo Bayan Jr. and Ace Villanueva from Stallion Laguna FC and Dynamic Herb Cebu FC respectively. Substitution for Stallion Laguna FC. Yannick Twazen makes way for Marvin Angeles. A like for like substitution, and it's going to be interesting how Marvin Angeles will provide the goods for Stallion Laguna FC in the second half. So here we go. Stallion Laguna FC now will be attacking from right to left and a chance to retain 
third place in regular time or will they go the penalty route once again? Genko on the attack right away for Cebu with a strike. James said that's easy. Saldivar to Gadia. Gadia could not get it through to Genko. Take it back to Ojkan. Forward pass looking for Arda Chinkir again. James called into action. want to send uh, quick greetings to my dear friend Francis V who's watching this game all the way from UK. That guy always shows us a picture of himself behind <laughs> the Wembley Stadium. So <laughs> thank you for watching this game. He said that he's actually watching it during his break while he's on work. <laughs> Abu C. Crowded by two players in white. Make that three now. And a foul against Stallion Laguna FC. See, just uh, pleading his case to referee Mick John Pineda had a contact there. But a ball for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Even during halftime, Nate, people have been walking inside the PFF National Training Center and they're packing the National Training Center now in yeah, anticipation of the next game. Yeah, we have a nice little crowd here at the moment, Jamer, and I'm sure more and more people will continue to trickle in as the final approaches at 8.30. But before we get there, we got to finish this match here, Jamer. Now Busi showing their intention to get their noses up front again but Zambrano said nope I'm going to take that ball away from you yeah nonetheless Jamie it's great to see spectators and fans here creating just a little bit of environment for this both of these sides here this is what we've missed over the last two years because of the pandemic now slowly but surely we're getting back to you know somewhat the the new or to back to normal or should we say the new normal now fans are uh, wearing their face masks uh, while they're watching the game distance as well uh, if you're seeing people um, in group they're just uh, you know in group as well so kung sino sino yung magkakasama sila sila rin yung magkakadikit dito sa Carmona Alkiros, lovely through ball to Abu C. Chance over the left side, through ball. Strike. Ibanez pleading for a penalty, but what a great defensive skill there from Dynamic Curb Cebu. Yeah, that was a nice sequence from Stylings. It started all the way from midfield where we are. Delgado did extremely well to get out of trouble. And Alkiros with a great outlet pass to Abu C. Way for match and Genko with a strike. Too much power as that goes over James and the bar. Both teams looking to start where they finished and there's a little bit of contact there from Delgado as he just pushes Genko off the ball so he loses his balance. But you know the idea and the mindset of both teams is clear. They're both looking to attack and they want to get an early goal, it appears here. Jamer. Gengo, um, Gengo just went a little bit under, or rather that was uh, uh, Stallion. We'll have to uh, check that strike again, but he just went a little bit under that ball. Cebu now on the counter, looking for Korsami up front. He's going to go up against Bolden. Bolden clears. Throw in for Dynamic Herb Cebu FC. Throw in for Cebu. Uzoka could not get his head to it. Gadia heads it to Arda Chinkir. 
Shinkir controls it. Dancing past two or three players in pink. Ibanya slipped. Ibanez retains possession for Stallion Laguna FC. It looks like Nathan Alcross has dropped to the left side of the fence. And, okay. now, and now Pena is in his interchanging defensive mid roll. Tactical changes here for Coach Ernie Nieras just to fill in the gaps and see where they're lacking right now for Stallion Laguna FC. Still have 40 minutes left. A lot to play for for both sides. Ojkan interception by Delgado and a foul on Ojkan. That might be a yellow card there. It is right? a yellow card for Nazim Ojkan as he tripped Delgado on his way with that interception. As we see, Oskan first touch just get a, gets away from him. I think he was indecisive with his, what he wanted to do. Delgado close enough to read the play and just make his way to the ball. Gets to it first and draws the foul at the edge of the box in quite a dangerous area here, Jamer. Free kick for Stallion and none other than Koichi Belgira to take this free kick specialist for Stallion Laguna FC. Would, would take a lot here, Jamer, to get this on frame and score. I'm, my guess is he's going to whip it in for a cross. But let's have a look here. Goes direct. Oh! oh! A save from Zambrano. And they have a corner. Yeah, that was a great take there. Recognizing, um, sorry, recognizing the presence, by the way, of engineer Rodney Orale, PFF board member and the president of the Central Visayas RFA, present in attendance after their uh, PFF Ordinary Congress yesterday. Corner now for Stallion Laguna FC. Abu C. Zambrano forced to take a punch. The referee says it's a goal kick. Ball was already sailing out wide there. That's why it was called for a goal kick. For those of you who's watching at home and might be confused of that call. Great through ball from Uzoka. Ref says play on. Ref says play on. It's getting physical now here. Pena. Blocked by Uzoka. Throw in. Para sa stadion. Peña, now with the ball, takes it back to Nieras. Alqueros, two veterans of Stallion Laguna FC, making it work for them as of the moment. Delgado, great first touch. Turns against Saldivar. Angeles, through pass, not there for him. He will regain possession. Peña. Dispossessed again by Baristasi. One thing that I've noticed with Stalin Laguna FC out here, Nate, even without their key players, Noguera and Silva at the back, they're doing decently in terms of defense. Bolden stepping up 
and filling in those big shoes of Silva in this game against Cebu. Yeah, not too many defensive laps from the Stallion side. They've been quite sharp. They've been quite uh, attentive. And, um, you know, aside from that goal, they, they haven't really given this dynamic Herb Cebu much room to work with. There they go again, closing the doors on Chima Ozoka for that cross. But they, it, it, that is an expense of a corner. Altinoz will take this one. Provider of that cross earlier. Found the head of Arda Chinkir. Will he find his head again? Here's the delivery. Straight to the palms of Kenneth John James. Belgira through pass for Abu C. Past one. Can he get past two? Yes, he will. Could not get past three, but Delgado is there. Ibanez. Sliding tackle from John Rensaldivar. Forcing it out for a throw in. Dynamic Herbs with Boo doing everything defensively to shut out this style inside who's been quite relentless in the attack, but Dynamic Herb doing a really, really good job keeping it tight. Alquiroz to Peña. Peña tackled by Altinoz. No foul, says the referee. Counter attack for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Chima Ozoga over the right side against Matthew Nieras. Tried to find Arda Chinkir, but the pass went wayward for a goal kick. End to end stuff here, Nate. Yeah, good, good stuff here, um, Jamer entertaining for sure and um, as I said earlier both teams searching searching for the goal for that next goal very very important for the momentum in the second half to close out this game here not letting anyone get into their stride right now closing the doors on each other this is what it means for them even though it's a battle for third it means a lot for these two sides Delgado headed it to Abu C. Saldivar. Nagira was called for a foul there. Not to the liking of Stallion Laguna FC. And having the veteran figure of Matthew Nieras and Nathan Alquiroz at the back really give Stallion Laguna FC the feeling that they are in good hands with these two veterans that they have and the communication between them is phenomenal as well. See, they're forcing the ball out for a throw and not letting anyone through the middle. Question is, how long can they hold on? Oh, clever. Oh. Through ball. Abu C. Ah, he's offside. He knew it. He knew it. That was great intention, though, from uh, Kuichi Belgira to free Abu C up front. We'll have substitution here. For Stallion Laguna FC, Coach Ernie Nera shuffling his cards once again. Troy Limbo will be coming in for... I believe it's Ibanez. Ibanez. Ibanez had a fantastic first half. Continued on over the last 20 minutes or 15 minutes for them. But it's time for Troy Limbo to step up to the plate and do his job to give them the lead in this battle for third. Yeah, what a great time to come onto the field as a substitute, Jamer. It's 1-1, 30 minutes in front of you, so you still have plenty of time to get into the match. And, um, you know, what great motivation for the substitute to come in and make an impact right away. And you can see the youthfulness of Stallion Laguna FC, the likes of Delgado, Peña, now Limbo in the squad. really feel that 
the future is really bright for coach Ernie Nieras and Stallion Laguna FC. Gadia sends that ball forward looking for Kursame. Dispossessed. He sent it forward looking for Sinkir. James is there to cover. Delgado. To Alquiroz. Looking for Belgira. Just couldn't get the first touch there for them. Interception. Peña through ball. It's too strong for Limbo to chase. And Zambrano will recover for Dynamic Herb Cebu FC. That is not a bad idea from Peña as he just tries to slot in Limbo. Good intentions, but the you know the execution was not there. But counter attack for Stallion Saldivar composing himself and wriggling his way past Abu C. Foul on Stallion Laguna FC there as Genko has been taken down. He's much appreciated by coach Ernie Nieras, giving him a headache and at the same time giving him, you know, uh, the smiles out there. And on right on cue, Genko steps out, uh, giving his place for John Roy Melgo the third. So we're seeing both sides making the most of their lineups and substitutions right now, as both sides are searching for that go-ahead goal to take the game into their hands will the shuffling of cards be enough though for both sides as they're really shutting the doors for the attackers through ball Saldivar with the mistake of a header there C with a strike not his favorite foot Goes out for a goal kick. Shout out to my dear friend Suleiman Ndepe, former player of uh, Mendiola FC 1991, watching our stream. Shout outs to you, my brother. Cebu right now just playing with the ball figuring out where they're gonna go Stallion doing a decent job right now in closing out the doors for them Saldivar Oshkan against Delgado dispossessed now Stallion with the ball Delgado against Saldivar Foul behind and a free kick and a dangerous place for Stallion Laguna FC. Yeah, Delgado has been quite dangerous the entire match there, Jamer. Getting involved in the attack, getting himself in good positions as we see him just kind of use his body and shield the ball. Saldivar a little overzealous and creates the foul from behind. Not in the most dangerous of areas, but nonetheless, it's a free kick close to the corner for Stalin's Laguna to try and take advantage and take the lead in this second half here. Ankeros will take this free kick for them. <clears throat> Plenty of options inside the box. <clears throat> Here's the delivery headed away by Arda Chinkir. First line of defense is your offense. It's paying dividends for them now. Gadia. Melgo 
Gadia sends it forward. Mert Altino is free over the right side for Dynamic Herb Cebu looking for options. Across for Sinkir. James almost spilt it but was able to keep the ball in his grasp and I think he waved no to our camera out there at the back. <laughs> yeah, he's having fun out there, Jamer. As we see the cross from Alter Noise, he just kind of chips it in. Looking for Sinkir and James is able to get to it first. Slight little fumble on the ball, but he's able to recover. Now Stallion with their own counterattack. Abu C just couldn't get a touch and Zambrano recovers. Zambrano doing well to read the play and come off his line. Lob to Abu C. Okuda clears it. Uzoka follows up. Altino is dispossessed by Belgira and Alquiroz throw in for Stallion Laguna FC. Abu C turns, squares it. It did well there, Jamer. Limbo just couldn't get his touch. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting that pass, but Abu C did exceptionally well. Shots on target right now, Nate. Four for Stallion Laguna. Three for Dynamic Herb Cebu. Momentum might have shifted a bit to the current third placers of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Shinkir. Uzoka was not ready for that pass. And James recovers for Stallion Laguna FC. If you're seeing uh, fans flocking their way over that far right side of ours uh, some of them might be the players uh, who are participating currently in the PFFU 19 boys national championship they had a taste of uh, professional football as well as they played here at the PFF National Training Center and now they get to watch the pros battle it out for battle for third and the championship later on tonight Okuda to Korsame. Gadia. Great through pass. Looking for Baristasi. Ball goes out for a goal kick. Great intentions once again for Dynamic Herb Zebu. And none other than Daniel Gadia with that through ball for Baristasi. Just couldn't make something out of it. Dami naman nagpapa shout out sa atin. No? Sige na nga, gamitin na natin to. Pierre Lazaro. Thank you so much for watching, buddy. Uzoka. Inigay. Kay Melgo. Sobra yung pasa na yun para kay Altinoz. Christian Paul Nakpil, thank you so much for watching. And Nakari Adrian watching from Davao City. Delgado. Okuda with a clearance. John Ren Saldivar making sure no one in pink will get to that ball. Shout out as well to Vincent Banaag and the Quezon Batangas FA, one of the teams competing in the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. Oh. Or rather, the PFFU 19 National Championship, second division. Foul there. Baristasi was sandwiched between two players from Stallion. Oskan. Sliding tackle from behind on Alquiroz. Play goes on, says the referee. Long ball for. Delgado into the middle oh. strike from Angeles asking for handball 
No! Corner! Said the referee. <coughs> Two crucial calls. But this resulted to a corner. One here in front of us. Let's take a look at that again, Nate. Yeah, we saw Delgado do really well to chase that ball down and play a pretty dangerous ball across for Marvin Angles to get a to get a foot to it. He's appealing for a handball. Not really able to tell so well with the replay, but nonetheless we have a corner now for Stalin Zaguna. Marvin Angles pleads his case for a penalty, but referee Mick John Panetta said a corner. So here it is for Stallion to the far left post. Oh, Abusi gets his head to it. Bolden just couldn't get the follow up. Delgado gets a yellow card after that challenge on the goalkeeper. Don't think he needed to get that one. Confirmation of the yellow card for Oscar Delgado. KG affair over the last 15 minutes of this game. We have about 19 minutes left or we go to the dreaded penalty shootout. Saldivar with the interception sends that ball forward for Altinoz. Two options inside. Altinoz sends it in. Headed away by Bolden. Pressure stays on as Baris Tassi gets to the ball. Tassi, short cross, cleared away by Pena. Nobody up front for Stallion Laguna FC and a chance for Dynamic Curve Cebu to reset with Saldivar down the right side. Oscan, almost a mistake there. Great coverage from Okuda though. Altinoz couldn't get the turn. Alquiroz with the interception. Angeles sends that ball forward. Advantage called by the referee. Troy Limbo dancing his way past Corsame. Corsame says no. And back to Cebu we go. Yeah, both teams here, Jam, are going to have to dig deep in these last 20 minutes if they want to get a goal and not leave it to penalty kicks. Great skill there from Altinos. Just couldn't get past a sliding player from Stallion, but they still have possession through Gadia. Corsame once again being forced to play at the back for Cebu. It's paying dividends for them as of the moment. Here's the cross. Nobody there. Delgado clears it out. Saldivar foul against Altinoz. And Delgado felt that one. Coach Ernie Nieras not happy with that challenge from Altenoz. Asking for a car there but none given. As we take a look at Delgado, able to get to it first. And Altenoz just kind of runs through his leg, causing a late contact foul there. Coach Ernie appealing for a yellow card as Delgado just got a yellow card moments earlier on the goalkeeper. Well Nate, you've had a fair share of those kind of challenges. What can you say? How, how does that feel for a player uh, if he gets that kind of challenge? Yeah, it's not nice, you know. You're, you're just trying to clear the ball and you get a late tackle on you. Good thing uh, he's already able to get up and it's nothing too serious, but especially with wet conditions like this. Tensions flaring now. These two sides, they're really physical. And Delgado not liking those challenges already from Dynamic Herb Cebu and Mert Altenoz. Yeah, competitive, competitive stuff here, Jamer. And what I love most is one of these teams is going to walk away as a winner tonight. So it's going to come down to the wire. And um, one of these teams will be victorious. So exciting stuff we have ahead of us. 
It's been kind of a slow uh, second half. Quality of play has dropped just a bit. I think we got a lot of tired legs and a little bit of lack of movement and options on the ball. A lot of stoppages of play and fouls, but nonetheless, we're in store for a great, great finish here as the clock is winding down. As we see, it's getting physical out there. There's a push in the back on Okuda and a, a foul on Altenos there. The dynamic herb Cebu wins the free kick on that earlier challenge and they will make a substitution later at the next dead ball. Check that. They'll make that substitution now as uh, Kintaro Miyagi will be checking in for Chima Ozoka. The referee said after this play. Ozuka trying to stay on to, to the stay under the field for this last play here. Might want to get his head to it. Abu C headed that away. Saldivar recovers for Cebu against Peña. Stallion wins possession. Altino is covering. Saldivar tried to kick that out of play, but it hit Alquiroz. Clearance from Abu C hits Delgado. Getting tense now here at the PFF National Training Center. Long ball for Cebu. James recovers. You One would actually say in this game, cooler heads will prevail. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, tired legs out there and body language is showing that players are exhausted. But, you know, there's still 13 minutes of regulation time here before we go into penalties, if ever. Lots of time to play here to attack and try and get a late goal. Cause some drama for this third place final here, Jamer. Now a chance for Cebu in this week sequence of play. Korsame. Crowded by three players in pink. Cebu still has possession down that far left side. I think that was Tassi. Could not get the cross. Gadia. Gets the ball again for Dynamic Curb Cebu with 13 minutes remaining in this match. Plus some added time. Saldivar against Delgado. Still with Saldivar. Twisting and turning but couldn't get past him. And Delgado clears it out for a corner. And our fans are loving that duel over the right side, Nate. Yeah, great to see some uh, atmosphere and environment here for the players to get excited about. There's just 12, 10 minutes left here, Jamer. So, as I said, the players got to dig deep and, you know, search within to find uh, a winning goal here. As we take a look at our fans, majority of them, uh, as you mentioned earlier, from the U19 National Championship. So, what a better, uh, what way to for them to watch and enjoy and soak up this Fantastic Philippine football night. They got the finals right after this. Ah, St. Gear just testing from distance, but just couldn't get that on target. But again, like what you've mentioned, what a way for them to watch the, these games, the PFF National Training Center. As we have a substitution, Uzoka now makes way for King Miyagi. These players, 19 and below, enjoying the atmosphere at the PFF National Training Center. They can even say, Nanandjan lang ako kanina. I was just playing there earlier. And now they get to watch the professionals play. Right. Now, there's a lot that they can take away. I, I just hope they're watching and, and trying to absorb and learn as much as they can because if this is the level that they're trying to get to, you know, this is a prime example of what it takes. And I, I hope they're paying attention to things like players first touch and their awareness and vision on the ball these are all things that are important if they want to get to the next level Altinos with the cross oh great defense there from Stallion holding on one might ask right now Nate are they just keeping the scoreline level to push this to penalties or they still have enough in the in the tank 
to get that go-ahead goal? Well, it appears, Jamer, that Dynamic Herb Shabu has got a bit of momentum. They've got a, quite a few fresh legs out there and they seem to be pressing the attack, searching for that goal. Oh God, though, great turn from Abu C. C with a strike with this weaker foot. Or rather, it was his stronger foot, man. Right. right, it was a great little flick from Delgado. He gets it to his stronger left foot. Uh, it's a difficult, difficult shot to take as it's bouncing away from him going forward. He's got it, as you see, he's got to time it. Key passes, we've got 15, 15. for Stallion and 10 for Dynamic Herb Cebu. They're making it work for them. Could they find the go-ahead goal? My, I got confused there. Abu C, I thought he was a right-footed player. Oh no, he is a left-footed one. He scored on his weaker right foot, but he's he's dominantly left foot as we see him favorite often. Goes to show how ambidextrous he is. Oh, it Ooh. went past. Sinkir could not pull the trigger from there. But what an effort, though. From James pulling off a LeBron James celebration there to keep the score level. I my oh my. I can't wait for the replay because that first touch. Oh, they don't have the first touch. But nonetheless, Sinkir gets past him. It looks to be clean, but man, look that that first touch from a very difficult long pass. James does exceptionally well to get his hand to it. Clean save in my book. And we have a goal kick. Now for Stallings, but man, what a sequence there, Jamer. It was off Stinkir. What a save there from James. Delgado end loves it pass. End-to-end stuff here, Jamer. End-to-end -end stuff as we close out this epic third-place battle. Eight minutes or we go to penalties. Will it be the replay of last year's Copa Paulino Alcantara battle for third? Miyagi, James forced out of his own box and was able to punch that out. Now time for Stallion Laguna for the counter-attack. Long ball coming in from Angeles. Oh, Zambrano spilled it. Still in play. Still in play. Abu C, strike from Limbo. Oh, just hit the wrong side of his right foot. Ah, oh, Abu C a bit heavy on the pass, causing it a little difficult for Limbo, but he still should have been a little bit sharper with that strike. Abu C exceptional with the work rate. Picks out his pass. Oh, that's a perfect pass, weighted pass, actually. Troy Limbo just unable to connect how he'd like and strike through that ball across his body. But man, what a turn of events. We got end-to-end -end stuff here, Jamer. Will that come back to haunt him? for Stallion, but they have possession here with Angeles. Through ball looking for Limbo. He's just a bit gassed after missing that chance, man. Abu C has just been relentless on the defensive side, causing so much trouble for this dynamic Herb Sabu side. Great, great stuff from the striker. Too strong of a pass from Ojkan. Now chance for, Sib oh, for Stallion, rather. Angeles was looking for Delgado, but Delgado... It looks to be going down with a bit of agony and pain here. Oh no. Not sure exactly what happened, but... Does not seem to be... Was that just out of frustration or is he feeling some injury there? He's back up. Yeah, maybe it's a bit of frustration yeah. there, Jamer. Six minutes. Very hard to predict what's going to happen next. End to end stuff between Stallion and Dynamic Herb Cebu. Saldivar with a throw in. Altinoz. Here's Troy Limbo. Forced to take it back. Looking for his teammates. Yeah, finds didn't, James. Didn't have many options. Bolden to Limbo. Try to send that forward. Ball for 
Stallion Laguna FC. Substitution now for coach Ernie Nieras and Stallion Laguna FC. So that's Joe Warren Medea coming in for Delgado and Kainoa Bailey. We'll get confirmation of Kai Bailey who he will be replacing. Charles Pickering is subbed out for Cameron Bailey. So it looks like Coach Ernie will go full on attack as a defender comes off for, uh, it, it seems like another defender, but Kai Bailey is more of an attacking player. Right, and who knows where Coach Ernie's mindset is. Maybe he's already thinking for his penalty kick kickers. Nonetheless, we still have about five, six minutes with plus injury time here, Jamer. As the second half is winding down, we've got a nail-biting 1-1 scoreline at the moment. Will there be another goal before this penalty kick shoots off, shoot off? Fans surely are loving it right now as a prelude to the finals between Kai FC Luilo and United City FC later at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Handball. Will it be a handball against Baristasi? Yes, it will be. So Stallion Laguna. Or rather, that's just... Uh, a touch and it went out for a throw in. Pena dispossessed by Baristasi. Foul on Pena. Crucial, crucial final three minutes plus added time here for both Stallion Laguna FC and Dynamic Herb Cebu. Rain is pouring down once again here at the PFF National Training Center. Bedia right away getting involved after being subbed on. Troy Limbo couldn't get it past Okuda. So we throw in and deep into the territory of Dynamic Herb Cebu. C takes it back. Kai Bailey, great run into the middle. Strike from Angeles. Another one saved again by Zambrano. Another save. And finally, Stallion Laguna FC scores with two minutes remaining in this game. Joe Juan and Bedia, the substitute, puts them ahead. That was a great, great play from Bailey to get free and play an extremely, extremely well timed pass. And relentless attack from Stallions Laguna to get this dramatic late goal for the Stallions Laguna side. Wow, what a sequence there. Bailey did extremely well, picks out Marvin, hits the frame as we see second, third, fourth, finally able to pounce it into the back of the net the substitute paced off for coach Ernie and the Stallions Laguna side as we take a look it took several opportunities and dynamic herb unable to clear the line look at the smile look at the joy look at the passion I love it One, dramatic finish here two Jamie. three four five attempts in that sequence of play i think there's a yellow card for joe warren Medea after taking off his shirt but he will just shrug that off as they score the go-ahead goal but meanwhile oh goal line save goal line save and offside, offside for offside. dynamic curve cebu oh wow can't believe what we're seeing here nate As we take a look at the replay, Abu see oh. the goal score of the first one, goal line save. Desperate, desperate 
attempts here from Dynamic Herb as they're trying to tie this match up lately. Three minutes. Three minutes. I'm just speechless right now, Nate. Three minutes added time here for Dynamic Herb Cebu to get that late, late equalizer. But I think it's going to be extended with James right now on the deck asking for some medical assistance. We all thought that we were going to penalties, but Stalin Zaguna had other things in mind. And the late substitute pays big for Coach Ernie and the Stalin Zaguna side. Both substitutes, Bailey and Badia, making an impact right away. Take note, Nate. Joe Warren Bedia is one of his veterans as well in this squad. Right. Just wanted to make an impact from the bench, and he did after scoring that go ahead goal for Stallion Laguna FC. So, all they have to do now is to hold on in order to secure third place in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Just mind blown right now. Cebu might as well bring it everyone inside that box for this free kick. We are in for a classic. Goes past everyone and James will leave that out for a goal kick. Late, late drama as we approach the end of this match and in preparations for our final, which will be right after this, but man, what a storyline here as it went down to the wire here, Jamer. Just about one minute left of uh, extra time as Stalin Zaguna desperately want to hold on to this late victory. Cebu. Still giving it everything. Trying to chase that equalizer to push this to penalties. But Stallion has, an, has another chance for attack. And a through ball for Troy Limbo. Zambrano commits. Limbo. Looking for options. Inside the box. Oh. Angeles just couldn't get a touch. And now Cebu. Will this be a last attempt or last attack for them? A throw in. For Cebu, final seconds, ball goes to Stallion. We thought we're going to get a replay of the 2021 battle for third. Joe Warren Medea might have spoiled that. Throw in for Cebu. One last attack. Will there be one last attack for Cebu? Zambrano sends that forward. Sinkir with the header. Abu C. Abu C has joined the back line there, Jamer. Baristasi. Pass Nieras. Back to Corsame. Corsame. Tassi inside the box for Sinkir. Altinos. Handball says the referee. And that is it. Stallion Laguna FC scoring a late, late goal through Joe Warren Bedia and prevents this game to go to the penalty shootout and gets the third place here the 2022 Copa Paulino Alcantara to the delight of our fans behind the goal your thoughts on the game Nate wow just heartbreak for the dynamic Herb Cebu as they had an exceptional campaign here but the storyline goes for the Stalin Laguna side late late drama well deserved victory in my opinion Jamer and I had a feeling that Stalins was going to come with their A game today. And, you know, they had their moments as they, the game was tied for a majority of it. But they dug deep 
Coach Ernie with some tremendous tactics and subs paid dividends. Every single player on the Stylings Laguna side gave it their all and in the end it's a in the end it's a collective effort for this classic battle between Stylings Laguna and Dynamic Herb Shabu, but late late drama causing some high tensions and heartache. But wow, what a match overall. And congrats to Stylings Laguna for third place in this Copa Palina Contra campaign. My oh my Nate. I mean that is the way to set things up for the final later on at 8.30 p.m. between Kaya FC, Luilo and United City FC. Stallion Laguna FC retaining third place at the Copa Paulino Alcantara through their veteran and substitute Joe Warren Bedia in the dying minutes of the match. Yeah, I think I think what made the difference here, Jamer, was, was the impact of all the substitutes that came on for Stallions and made a big impact in the, in the, in the second half. Um, Dynamic Herb was relentless in their attack. They were really searching for that go-ahead goal, but in the end, Stallions Laguna dug deep and got that dramatic late goal. Gonna be interesting to see who is man of the match because quite a few players deserve it in my opinion. A lot of players stepped up for Stallion Laguna oh, yeah. FC to oh, make yeah. sure that they retain third place in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. But before we check on who's going to be the man of the match or the player of the match, let's, let's take a look at some of the highlights of the game out here, Nate. Yeah, these are all uh, second half highlights as we see end-to-end um, -end stuff throughout the second half. Both teams were searching and searching. Um, and it was quite even with the amount of chances or half chances that the teams created. In the end, both teams were relentless, but as we take a look at that, look at that excellent first touch and the save from James. Had to time it right. And here was a good opportunity from Limbo as he came on as a substitute. And here's the, here's the go-ahead goal as Bailey picks out Marvin, who hits a target, and it's just two, three, four opportunities. The relentlessness from the deer. And he knows it as he's taking home third place, coming on late as a substitute. We love to see it from the veteran coming on late and making an impact. Wow, what a storyline here we had, Jamer. I mean, it's the last game of the tournament. You wouldn't mind for that yellow card so long as he celebrates that game-winning goal for Stallion Laguna FC. What a way to get their bronze medal but as we wait for the player of the match Nate I mean that's how you set up a final yeah that is and um, you know I think it just comes down to the Stallions wanted it more they dug deeper and um, as we take a look at the stats you know it's quite even with the possession shots on target even 5-5 five, five corners two apiece you know but the fouls are quite even so it really was a, an even match and it really just came down to which side wanted it more and it, it showed that the stallion side really really wanted it and they, and they made it count when it came down to the wire with their quality of play and getting players into dangerous areas and picking out players on on the crosses it, it all adds up the momentum all adds up and um I'm happy to see this uh, Stalin side come away with something as they had a tough road, uh, you know, tough campaign for them. On the flip side, Dynamic Herb Cebu proved their worth and, you know, they were the storyline for the majority of this competition. And it's definitely a heartbreak for them. And uh, you got to expect nothing but lessons learned for them as they approach the, the league campaign, which will soon approach. But fantastic stuff here, Jamer. It's been a pleasure to call this match with you. And um, as you said, it just just opens things up for this epic, epic final that we have kickoff uh, 8.30. When we said cooler heads will prevail, uh, you could say that Joe Warren Bidi was just heating up when he came on 
and then he was presented with the opportunity to score the goal it didn't took one it took two three four shots on goal before converting that to the game winning goal for them it's going to be interesting who will be our player of the match for sure i believe i heard him say abu si is their man of the match which to me is very well deserving he yeah. scored the first goal and he just was relentless to the end of the match he was involved in so many plays so many attacks and defenses as well as we see him drop to the back line you know defensively he was he was there he at the end of the match he was dropped back into the back four and was doing everything he could to to clear balls and and to keep he, we saw that goal line save you know for me it's well deserved uh i will see fantastic match but also nathan alcross for me stood out as well mm -hmm. first half and second half um many many players to credit from the styles the good side but credit to them it was a group effort collective effort you know you see how much it means to them and i know they they desperately wish to get to the final but this is a, a bit of you know something that they can hold on to and 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 um work on as the the league approaches uh in a few months time but you know fantastic fantastic stuff here tonight it had everything that we hoped for jamer quality it, it, goals drama <laughs> <laughs> what else can we ask for it left us speechless for like two minutes after that goal uh that goal from joe Adam, it, it, it left it us speechless but let's talk about the journey of both sides out here right. with, with dynamic curb cebu when they started out you thought that they're going to be just the nobodies of the tournament but when they actually played their first game it really showed that they had the intentions to go for the championship but they only had to settle for fourth up next later with the match for the final classic classic all battle. for the marbles man all for the marbles these two these two teams are no stranger to one another kaya football club one of the the longest standing clubs in the league and united city fc back in the final after a one year hiatus exactly where their club and management hope to have been so you know philippine football fans are in for a treat for this final the rain is coming down we have a great environment here and um what a, what a turn of events here what a turn of events stallion laguna never won a game in the copa paulino and canada right. this season but when they won they left it late they scored through joe warren bedia to secure the bronze medal for the Copa Paulino Alcantara, it was a great game to set us up for that 8:30 match between Kaya FC Luilo, the defending champions, going up against the 2020 Philippines Football League champions, United City Football Club. But before that, we could see on our screens our man of the match already walking to our panel right here. Abu C, you said that he deserved that, and I truly believe he deserved that. The first line of defense for a winning team is their offense, and it paid dividends for them. Abu C helping out in defense. Yeah. Even that goal line clearance towards the end of the match uh, gave them the victory out here. Joe Warren Medea might have scored the game winning goal, but it was this guy's effort right that gave them that bronze medal and now we go to the interview for abu c our player of the match Uh, this is the time we do to lose the 
be the best and want God to be in the skin to be. I try to do my best. I try to be a bit the defender. Also, we work hard to be post to score goal in this game. We need to win this game today. Same, huh? Me! I he played, he played awesome. He was awesome. Unstoppable. That was Abu C, your player of the match for Stallion Laguna FC. His efforts gave them the bronze medal at the 2022 Copa Paulino Alcantara. Your final thoughts on the entire game, Nate? Yeah, you know, we, we talk a lot about uh, momentum throughout the competition as your team steadily needs to progress towards that last match. And I think that's what we saw with the Stalin Zaguna side. They might not have started the competition off on the highest note, but they finished it on an extremely high note from the start of the match, Jamer. So, you know, it just goes to show that when your team peaks, it all matters. On the flip side, Dynamic Herb Sabu started the competition off on fire, maybe just kind of ran out of steam and their momentum and exhaustion just kind of overwhelmed them. And unfortunately, they fell to fourth place as they finished in second. But man, I, I thought it was a fantastic uh, third place match. It was exciting. You know, there was great, great goals and drama. And, um, you know, a, a fan, a, a treat for all the fans and supporters watching as, as you know, no one knew what was going to happen. So for me, it was in a, overall, it was a fantastic match and a pleasure to call with you, Jamer, as always. Well, it's been a pleasure calling this game for you, but we have set you up for a classic final later at 8.30 p.m. It's Sky FC Luilo against United City FC for the 2022 Copa Paulino Alcantara. We thank you all for watching this game and we hope you catch the next match at 8.30.